Welcome to the Sant Mat Satsang Podcast, a production of Spiritual Awakening Radio. My name is James Bean. Today, part three of the Living Spiritual Path from Bihar, District, India. Today's program is on the science of spirituality, according to Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. I begin by sharing a passage from the book The Lord as Guru, Hindi Sants in the North Indian Tradition, by Professor Daniel Gold, a fascinating couple of paragraphs, about a Tulsi Panthi guru that I'm not familiar with, I've never heard of before, and I'm sure probably few others on the planet have heard of him as well. But I won't use his name because I don't have his side of the story, and you never know, I may make contact in the future. I am actively researching various Tulsi Sahib-related guru lineages, and so I'll, I'll leave his name out, but I do want to share a couple of interesting paragraphs by Professor Daniel Gold. When I started asking Sant fill-in-the-blank Das about Tulsi Panthi meditation practice, he showed me a 131-page manuscript he had written about a year earlier, illustrated with drawings showing the sites of different spiritual regions. He described an inner journey according to Tulsi Sahib's conventions or teachings. Interested in both Sant fill in the blank Das and his book, I made arrangements to return to spend time in the village. When I looked more closely at Sant fill in the blank Das's book on my second visit, I saw that it told of the highest regions of the universe described by Sant Tulsi Sahib. Like most living Sant poets, Sant fill in the blank Das affirmed that he wrote what he saw. During the time I spent with him, I had certainly grown to respect Sant fill in the blank Das as a sincere sadhu, but I wondered whether he really thought that he had reached the high states revealed in his book. Just before I left the village, I asked him about it directly. Actually, he admitted his own reach was only to hear. He touched a point in the middle of his forehead, indicating an intermediate state. In fact, he said he had only written what he saw as far as his spiritual reach would take him. His description of the higher planes was added, quote, for the sake of completeness, unquote. Thus, in a lineage whose members use well-defined conventions or teachings, the teachings can sometimes gain an importance of their own. It becomes necessary to present them as a doctrine, a theory, even if they are no longer representative of actual experience." Unquote. Professor Daniel Gold, in the book The Lord as Guru, talking to a guru who said that he had not reached Sach Khand or Sat Lok, the highest spiritual realm. At least he was honest. At least he was also accessible. You know, a personal interview was on the table, was an option. He was willing to answer questions presented to him by someone, and that's a step forward in the honesty and full disclosure departments. But here you have an example of a teacher who did not reach the highest plane, even though one would normally assume that a guru of that stature would. He had not reached the higher planes, but was teaching the doctrine about the higher planes. The true spiritual seeker in Santmat is in search of a living master who 
not only is presumed to have reached the highest heaven, but in fact has indeed in reality reached the highest heaven and experiences that which they teach about. It's not merely bookish knowledge or intellectual information, but something they've actually experienced for themselves, a spiritual path that they are personally fluent in, have mastered, the very definition of a master. The leader of a spiritual movement must always be the embodiment of truth, is a sat guru, guru of truth, a master of truth. Without a competent master, a spiritual movement will not be capable of being an instrument in the world for the positive power or God. As it says in the Upanishads, wisdom cannot be taught by one who has not attained wisdom. The way to wisdom is through a teacher who has seen wisdom. Swami Vyasananji Maharaj says, The question then is how to recognize an accomplished master and one who is not accomplished, or worse, one who is corrupt. The difficulty is that most, being mesmerized by worldly attractions, judge masters by outward and material achievements, which are a wholly inaccurate measure. The true masters live a simple life and morally upright lifestyle. They stay away from the pomp and show of the display of power. For example, they do not have expensive cars and opulent mansions. They do not show favoritism among their followers." Unquote. As William Arthur Ford once said, and this is a quote often cited by teachers in different categories, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. This is a passage from the Manual of Discipline from the Dead Sea Scrolls. The master shall teach the saints to live according to the book of the community rule, that they may seek God with a whole heart and soul. The Sat Guru, the Sant Sat Guru, the living master for you, will be the one that feeds your soul in a way others do not. You'll sense their spiritual charge and develop an inner knowing, and not just an intellectual knowing, when you hear their discourses. There are many different choices out there, but one will stand above the rest, and will be someone you uniquely resonate with above all others. Living Masters are the true spiritual guides. Going to the sanctuary of saints, beings can cross this ocean of samsara, this worldly ocean. A human being blessed with the wisdom of saints follows the truth and realizes God. A passage from the spiritual classic known as the Gat Ramayan by Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras. And this is from Songs of Kabir. It is the mercy of my Sant Guru that has made me to know the unknown. I have learned from him how to walk without feet, to see without eyes, to hear without ears to drink without mouth, to fly without wings. I have brought my love and my meditation into the land where there is no sun and moon, nor day and night. Without eating I have tasted of the sweetness of nectar, and without water I have quenched my thirst. Where there is the repose of delight, there is fullness of joy before whom can that joy be uttered? Says Kabir, the master is great beyond words, and great is the good fortune of the disciple.
The following satsang discourse is from the teachings of Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. Amir Kushro, a Muslim poet mystic, writes, With the blessing of my teacher, Kawaja, I went to the Ganga River, the Ganges. There I saw the great master, Swami Ramanand. He blessed me with his grace and my heart became pure. The radiance of God manifested in my purified heart." Unquote. How can we see this inner light? The answer, only when you have the grace of a pure spiritual teacher. Kawaja Sahib, a Muslim fakir, says that just as Muhammad went from Mecca to Medina, in the same way we have to leave the nine gates of the body and enter into the tenth gate. This is the door to the divine realms, the Ajna Chakra. It is reached through the practice of piercing the Ajna Chakra, the third eye, between the two eyebrows. Now we live as slaves in the nine-gated body. The gates are the two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, the mouth, and the two organs below. We are living in this nine-gated body. Sant Radhaswami, who lived in Agra, once said, This body is permeated with darkness. We are under an illusion, and we are deluded. Now we should search within for light and leave this nine-gated body. Swami Sant Seviji to repeat, as long as we live in the nine-gated body, we live in darkness. We must leave the nine gates and go through the tenth gate. How do we go from darkness to light? And what is the means for accomplishing this? This is only possible if an accomplished master teaches us the path to escape from the darkness. Otherwise, we will remain in darkness. Sant Tulsi Sahib said, approach an accomplished teacher with reverence and patience. He or she will tell you this mysterious path to tread the path within. Swami Sant Seviji, the teachers of the worldly sciences can teach those subjects, but when we come to the science of spirituality, only the accomplished spiritual teacher can give these teachings of the spiritual path. All the wisdom in the sacred texts points to the importance of a teacher. This mysterious path is described in the holy books, but it cannot be found simply by the study of sacred texts. It is found by the grace and guidance of an accomplished teacher. Sant Maharishi Mehi said, without the grace of an accomplished teacher, we cannot find the path. This has not happened in the past, nor will it happen in the future. It is essential to have the grace of a teacher. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, O feeble disciples, take refuge in the Master. Go get the key to this spiritual gate from an accomplished teacher if you want to open the tenth gate, the gateway to the spiritual realms. None other has the key to open this gate. Says Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj, as you open this gate of the third eye center, you will be baptized, you will be immersed in the divine light of God. When you leave the nine gated body of the senses and go through the tenth gate, then you will go from darkness to light 
and from untruth to truth. When you are able to see this divine light within you, then you will be able to hear the inner divine sounds. This inner sound cannot be heard with the physical ears, but only with the inner spiritual hearing. The following reading comes from the publication Divine Light and Melodies Lead the Way, the Sant Mat tradition of Bihar District, India, by Professor Veena Rani Howard. The 20th century leader of the monastic Sant Mat movement, Maharishi Mehi Paramhans, born in 1885, passed on in 1986, who was born in a small Bihar village and chose a monastic life in his youth, redefined Sant Mat in the modern period. Maharishi Mehi did intense sadhana or meditation in the caves of Kapagat, Bhagalpur, Bihar. After emerging from his intense meditations, he spent many years researching the history and accounts of inner experiences throughout spiritual texts of the Vedas and the writings of Sants to various religious texts. From his personal experiences and research, he concluded that Sant Mat was not affiliated with any particular religious sect, and its path could be practiced by followers of any religion, any social strata, or any gender. Maharishi Mehi presented a distinctive organized framework for Sant Mat that included the following. One, uniquely defining Sant, Sant Mat, and the goal as Shanti, absolute peace, unity with the divine. Two, identifying Sant Mat as Vedic Dharma, Vedic thought without fanaticism, ritual, and extremism, through new commentaries on the Hindu texts. Three, showing resonances among the inner spiritual path of Sants, the sages of the Upanishads, and the mystical teachings of all religions. Four, building the structure of monastic leadership, the sadhus, to spread the path to the most marginalized masses, which is similar to the ministry of the Buddhist Sangha. And five, determining the qualifications of spiritual leaders based on their own spiritual accomplishments, not on the bequest, but the blessings of their master. Vina Howard, Divine Light and Melodies Lead the Way, the monastic tradition of Bihar. If you're listening to this Sant Mat Satsang podcast by way of YouTube, scroll down to the notes section below for a link to the article, Divine Light and Melodies Lead the Way, the Sant Mat Tradition of Bihar by Professor Veena Howard. Also a link to the book, Harmony of All Religions by Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. My name is James Bean. You can get in touch with me by emailing me at this address, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com, for any questions or queries about this path. You can also text me from within the U.S. I have a Google voice number set up just for texting purposes. Within the U.S., you can text me at this number, 508 603 9381. Visit my website, spiritualawakeningradio.com. Spiritualawakeningradio.com. There is an embedded podcast player on the front page of my website. There's also an embedded YouTube player at my website, plus links to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, 
and other sites where you can subscribe to this program. Like and subscribe, as they say. Click the bell for alerts. Share this podcast with others. If you're not following by way of YouTube, send me an email, and I can send you links to the article by Professor Vina Howard and the free online ebook Harmony of All Religions by Swami Sant Sebiji Maharaj, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com or 508-603-9381. At my website, there is a donate button. There are also links to there are also links to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and other sites where you can get not only podcast announcements, but daily spiritual quotes in the world of social media, spiritualawakeningradio.com. In conclusion, a couple of mystic poems. This is from Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar. The Lord is my beloved, who is close to the heart of the lover. He is seen in each heart. In each heart, his palace is alike. I have told you again and again, he is seen close by, though seems far off. The one who has built this house of the body dwells within it and is ever present there. Let your heart be the mirror. Within it will be seen your unparalleled home. Your true abode is visible in this mirror and therein is seen a refulgent form. Sant Darya Sahib of Bihar. And this is from Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras. There is one separate, nameless Lord, or Anami Parush, beyond the void and the great void, also known as Soon and Maha Soon. That Lord is the beloved of the Sants. Sants make their court at his abode, says Sant Tulsi Sahib. And in conclusion from Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj once again, the teachers of the worldly sciences can teach those subjects, but when we come to the science of spirituality, only the accomplished spiritual teacher can give these teachings of the spiritual path. All the wisdom in the sacred texts points to the importance of a teacher. This mysterious path is described in the holy books, but it cannot be found simply by the study of sacred texts. It is found by the grace and guidance of an accomplished teacher. Namaste, Jai Guru, Radha Swami, Satnam Sahib. Um.